Welcome to the grand finals of the Riyadh Masters, where two teams have come to defeat the demons of their past. Second place finishes have become the norm for Team Liquid, but Spirit also came second in last year's Riyadh Masters. It's going to just fall to the supports to build the utility and a quick first blood for Insania as this IO has worked well for Liquid in the entire tournament. It's a hero he's personally very confident with. And right now we're looking at Anisha who is up there at his peak potential as he is the KDA leader of the tournament right now. Oh, nice use of the cookie. Close. Boxy, he's gonna surround Boposhka with the help of the Illusion. is gonna turn around, do what damage he can. It's gonna be close call. Boxy gets stunned up and they do manage to get the kill on Boxy first. Maposhka will be granted the experience for that one. I don't know if you're supposed to be that far ahead, but it is a bad matchup for Punk. It, it's a free matchup for I mean, this goes back to Ferrari TA days, right? Yeah, it's yeah. been winning since 10 years ago. And it's not gonna Whoa. stop now. I tether up to the high ground as they both went through the portal here. Boxy and Maposhka, now they're gonna be met by Collapse. There's no might be able to burst down Insania. Timberchain doesn't quite land, but they might just be able to get that final hit in. Oh, it's not enough. What did he live on? Well, now it Infinitus. That'll finish him off. Mira is going to be in an awkward position, though. And Mickey does have enough mana to be able to take advantage of this one. They will trade off supports, but maybe they're going to get a two-for-one special because Collapse will get him with the timber chain. Mickey's looking to even the odds now to chase down Maposhka, and he's going to have the IO joining him soon. Well, the creep block. Oh, oh the creep block! It's not quite enough, but Poshka was just huddled away in the corner. Collapse. He's fighting now against Mickey 1v1, but not for long. And Tina is going to join in, start healing up Mickey, and he will probably be perfectly fine here. Dodge the Timber Chain. In fact, they may even chase Boy, after drop. Collapse. Nice drop. Item drop to be able to get the maximum amount of HP out of It'll the one, which was actually needed there. He stays what? alive of just 90 HP. This early in the game when you get six or seven trees into it. Double chain. Triple chain, in fact, just to get as much damage as Oh, he, he, he dropped him. a branch to try and block away the vision of himself. Meanwhile, Yutoro dies at bottom lane. Oh, this is definitely a bit of deja vu now because Liquid is running away with the laning phase, Avery. Swarl looking to recover now. That was a kill he desperately needed. Oh, it collapse. Uh, speaking of deja vu. Yeah, Collapse dies in literally the same spot he died last time. He has set up shop bottom, and there's nobody that can kick him out. And meanwhile, Liquid are happy to bring in reinforcements with that reload. However, Deja Vu straight back to top into the clutches of Yatoro. Cookie is going to be given over. Mickey needs to run away from Yatoro, get away from that damage, but Yatoro, he pounces forward, gets the bash required to claim the kill. A good trade off, but if they lose more supports, it could be bad. Nice Lars going to come in, though, and they've got Collapse with the song. It goes off in time. And Zai will allow his team an opportunity to be able to get away. Team Spirit's still going to chase a bit, though. Yeah, they have another time dilation and a leap up, and they can catch up to the Naga just so damn fast. Collapse will kill Boxy on the backside. And there's a Troll Summoner coming in with the flank. It's going to pop the Illusions. Block. Try and dodge away from the Chakram. But Team Spirit, they are relentless. They got Boxy. They won Zai. He's been having way too much of a free game here. The reload. The Mickey's going to come back into this one. He teleports back into play here. And now they're going to look for the kill on to collapse. Once again, the aggression from Team Spirit is going to result Boy, in a potential turnaround. But he gets away with the timber chain. And Mickey, Mickey dies, dies instead. This Manta is so damn fast. He's going to have a second item orchid unless Yatoro. Ice Blast, but there is going to be kisses. Lesson. Is this going to scare away Yatoro? He's going to commit. He commits for the kill on his eye, but he doesn't get it. And the, I don't think the Ice Blast is going to take him out. Oh, oh it did. does. On the last two ticks, it's enough. And an unstoppable streak taken away. I guess Team Spirit are happy with that exchange. They get the two for one. They get this Naga with the streak. A lot of gold and XP into Maposhka there. Bloodstone Lesh. So, so much healing going into this Isle Lesh. Now, you can counteract it with that Ao. Oh, but he got the shard pickup. He goes for the pump yeah, kill. Silence. And the kisses, they land. The final one is there, and it kills Maposhka, too. So, Nisha pick up that Blink Dagger. He farmed to a shard, bought it, immediately got big effectiveness out of it. As Orchid is done. Oh, man, pain. that is a fast Orchid. Yutoro's very dead. This game pace is incredibly fast from Liquid right now. 8k gold needed 16 minutes. They have threat on everybody in this game right now. And he's just delivering more solo kills. Tries to use the uh, DA oh, trap. Baga. Deny again. So oh. just ran in. Did not expect them to be He's going to be bailed out, though. They don't have an Ice Blast, so Insini comes in with very clutch heals. They get a Split Earth and lots of silences on Collapse. And you said the pace is picking up for Liquid. They also have a way to very quickly do Roshan. The Time Locks and the Maelstrom procs with a Mask of Madness here. You might not need to throw in this Blast on the first target Jesus. Either. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Okay. Collapse Lotus. just died to 
not a Templar be. Assassin solo. Granted, he had a double damage, but that's not a great sign. Neither is Laurel getting picked off solo by Zai here. He might catch be able Boxy. to catch Boxy. It'd help if he got a bash here. Punt time dilation. They're going to use the coil. I mean, they need as many kills as they Reload can get. All the of these kills mid. are worth. And we'll get a glyph. Oh, wow. Be out from Spirit. They did not even wait to see this Eda hit their buildings. Very quick and decisive move from Liquid. You can't even chrono anybody here because this reload will guarantee take you out. Yeah, this is so smart because if they relocated to where Boxy's at, they probably just get chrono sphere. Yes. Right. So they instead make a better move, just outmaneuver Team Spirit. They go for the mid lane. They take that tier three. Range Barracks still up, but Yotoro, if he dies here, oh, jeez, that, that damage is just so off. damn fast. I mean, that's with his dispel, too. They're just saving the silences. Oh, more silences. Well. Dude, Nisha is putting on. Ooh, he's getting out. Quite a masterclass of an early shard pickup with this TA trap. Meanwhile, He's still he trying to get slapped. out on collapse while, uh, yeah, Zai's trying to set up. He's like, guys, I've caught so many heroes. Come over here. And Nisha will oblige. They'll get the kill on to Mira as well. So three dead on the side of Team Spirit. Now they can go and finish up that range barracks. They started earlier and take a melee on top of it. And no glyph because of that little reload play you made before. So you can buy out for it and maybe join this fight. Off that. You can also just TP Radiant Outpost, I suppose. It's just going to be so damn slow. Yeah, and lacking your frontliner when it comes to the damage being put out by Nisha. Anybody shows, they could get two shot. The potential is there. And there's the silence. Maposhka, one hit, brings him down to half. Now the Kiss is trying to get the vision, trying to get the slowdown. Hits Maposhka oh, once or twice, almost enough for the kill. That final one might just, just do it. He's going to take out. Mickey, meanwhile, oh, Yield Scepter put onto Laurel. He does have a phase shift, but immediately silenced once again by the TA traps. They're just, it, it's the TA traps nonstop, man. And there's Relo into the base again. Oh, oh he's broken. Mira's going to be shredded immediately. They have to throw out the Chrono Sphere. Otherwise, they're going to get barracks. Mickey does get off his BKB, just and a song goes off. out. The sleep will put an end to what looked like a turnaround potential for Team Spirit, as now they have to fight it out with no ultimates. A coil desperately trying to keep Team Liquid out of their base, desperately hoping to somehow turn around an impossible team fight, but it will never happen. Four dead on the side of Team Spirit. A buyback from Yutoro immediately, but he comes back with no Chronosphere, comes back with no chance of defending his final barracks and no chance of winning this game one. Team Liquid used at TI-11. Yeah, the map control, the lane, the team fight combination with the song and net into arrow. There is no save on Team Spirit's side, so you're just going to have to tank it out here. How oh, this big, big is up. a much better start as it's Mira gaining a lane advantage instead of feeding away. Now he is still going to feed. He gets a one for one trade off. It's a giant circle. It's just a question of where are you on it? And a seed shot will come through and clear through this with some dive dilation. No six for Zai. He is one experience off. Oh, that is going to hurt if he dies because, oh, he gets it now. But he doesn't need to use it. The kisses are going to nail him. Yutoro dies with Boxy scooping into the backside. And they're going to give Maposhka once here. again. Mickey being hyper aggressive. The IO Leshrac combination. He makes the early rotations. Now on the Monkey King, as he is prone to do, he will set up through the gate and help them get some big, big kills around the Tier 1 tower. So if you just push this game very late, you don't necessarily need to accelerate it as fast for Liquid if you're comfortable farming up and playing the map. Especially if you're securing... Wukong's man and a fast kill on Mira. Gets it. So Mickey and his patience is rewarded once again. The first time from dodging the gank from Laurel, the smoke gank. And now the second time being able to find a kill on Mira and then head straight to lane. Maposhka, he's going to be caught here probably by the arrow. Maxed out arrow. Maxed out uh, level one in snare, but it still lasts long enough. Much better game two for him, as there's the ensnare. The arrow is not going to be there because of the creeps. They try and hit it to the telekinesis, but there goes the Manta. Now he turns around, gets a two-man Chronosphere. He does need a little bit more damage. He'll get the kill on Insania, but what about Nisha? They slow him down with time dilation and the enchant. He's not going anywhere. Immediate smoke up from Team Spirit afterwards, too. Even the little potato contributing. Laurel, he's going to pop out from that high ground, pull in Insania. Gets that kill. Now Nisha's gonna bots in, see if he can still hold this tier one, but you gotta be careful. Lotus Orb already picked up. The arrow's not gonna quite oh, latch, and that means Laurel, that. he doesn't go for that any further. Just pushing him away from the tier one tower is good enough for him. Be a smoke pop from Liquid as they look for the TPN. It's collapsed. Tankiest target in the game. Do you have the burst for him? 
They're going to try with the kisses. I think that's enough magic damage. He is going to die. They'll take the tier two as well. Meanwhile, bottom lane, they push out and catch Boxy and will try and do the same with his tier two. It looks like both teams will be successful. Back. I could use a few more kills, but that's just me. Can't all get ready. That's game three. Maposhka is going to get picked off here. Team Spirit going to leave him behind. Looks like Mira may be caught as well. Oh, the fourth step. It cuts down Mickey's tree that he was hopping to. Not that anything's going to come of that, of course. As they will very easily be able to bring down the second support. And that now means Zai, he doesn't even have to go back to base. When is Ice Rock going to unlock the, maybe the next patch, it'll be there. It's like you have to think about what this Murano will play. These heroes don't get bursted that fast. Numbers fight for Liquid. They just ran everybody up here. And since Mickey is still alive, he'll help join in on an Enchantress kill. Collapse, he needs to get out of here. Beautiful blast off. blast off from Mira. A couple of mines laid out, still not enough to finish off. Mickey gets a cookie, he's hopping away. He's bleeding it's out. Why is he bleeding the out? Time the dilation. time dilation, it's too many slows. All of his spells Spirit put on cooldown. Lasso back up, and it will secure a second here as he drags him into Yatoro. Double kill for the Faceless Void. And Roshan is up. Aghanim Scepter, fourth for the Faceless Void. Very interesting itemization from Yatoros. He just wants the AoE time walk bash when he leaps in versus the Naga. It'll be decent, and Chronosphere, do you have the damage here? This is a hard kill. He just picked up Butterfly alongside that heart. This could give him a window to get up the KB. song and get out. They use the BKB. The bashes. They want this kill so badly, and they will have it. The bashes come raining in while Collapse creates a little bit of time here. As they try and go onto the Timber Saw, it's not quite good enough. And now Liquid, they may be stalled up. Yutoro's coming, and he wants even more. Blast off, not gonna land onto Boxy, catching up to Insania though. Time dilation put onto him. Insania will turn that time dilation back around, but Yutoro's still on his sidewalk. Everybody. Immediately jumps forward. Looks like Mira's gonna be dying, but they have the Century to reveal Nisha this time around. Can he get out the Rod of Atos? Now Cookie, Scatter Blast, that's gonna do a lot of damage, but the bashes, man, the bashes do not stop Whoa. for Yutoro. Yatoro praying to the RNG gods, and they return his favor here. That's a triple kill for him. They route four heroes from Liquid. This item's very interesting, this game. It's not one we usually see it picked up this early. I mean, cool if he can put it to use. They'll try on Laurel. He has BKB here. He should have of his own. Time just to go. Crack him out. <laughs> yeah, try to use that haste rune. The Ogre Seal totem doesn't go over the cliff. The haste rune is going to last forever, but it doesn't matter against Chronosphere. You stop time, you stop Nisha from running around. Now, Zai still finds openings here. He gets the mid tier two, and they steal Chronosphere, by the way, on the Rubik as well. So, <laughs> yes, that's which true. definitely not. As Roshan evaporates here to this MKB. Gatoro bought out for this. He'll be rewarded with a second life. Now it does cost them their tier three and maybe even range barracks yeah, at the Zai's, top lane. Zai is ratting. That has been his MO a lot of the They're going to try and catch some heroes before they can get back here. The Harpoon's going to be put to use to pull him into the arrow, but their Yutoro is going to go Double for this kill on Mike. But they have the song. They hit him with the telekinesis. The Chronosphere is going to be wasted. He could not no BKB. time for the BKBs. Let's see if they can get the stuns off, though. Laurel taking a lot of damage as he tries to get out of the Wukong's man. Forced to use the cheese while the Rod of Atos catches Yutoro. He pops a Manta. Time walks back into Collapse way into back. the side. Time dilation being given away is a dangerous spell, Collapse though. Collapse just going in. And Collapse just goes for it. He's immediately gets arrowed in. And the stun comes out of nowhere to hit Yutoro as he tries to jump in. They are getting nothing out of this one. He jumps back in with a time walk. Finally, he's going to lose his life. Collapse but Team Spirit, back. they have to buy back to help out Yutoro here. He's in big time trouble. He pops BKB. He does manage to get Mickey. Can this BKB net him another core kill? If you can kite out another and snare Orchid here, you might be able to oh, take down Yutoro. Boxy, he gets that one as well. Die. The remaining hero now with nobody left besides the buyback on Insania. He, he has comes illusions. in. He can turn. He is going to turn. But Yutoro with that time walk is doing a lot of AoE damage. Zai, he goes to the TP out. One now the Yutoro goes back in, but the Anagonim Sem went to work. He catches Zai on the TP out, and they will actually wipe. Team Liquid. More than that, they get six kills out of it. So he's going to free up that slot for the BKB now. We'll oh, take an arrow. To arrow. The here. If only anybody was alive from Team Liquid. And that level 25 for the Timber double chakra coming out. Even more damage to just pump into these Chronos as Collapse is pretty happy with how this game how is going. How much is he going to get out of this? Team Liquid are still not having the Naga Siren for a significant window lasting off. Laurel sees another opportunity. Well, he might get two. He's, He's going to get two for one. He brings in Nisha, oh, setting up the Chronosphere. Perfect for Team Spirit. Just the kind of pickup they're looking for to crack open the high ground again. Liquid are going to go for the catch on the Faceless Void. The Boundless Strike into the arrow. 
They're trying for the fast pickoff on Maposhka. Any the kind of bashers. Boy, that bashers. time walk just destroyed him! What kind of bashers is that? Is this man mortal? I don't understand. He has no BKB. Arrow coming up. The arrow. Wait. It's going to come out and lands onto him. A bash comes out. Bound the strike. They try and get him the four staff. That's not good enough. He is indeed mortal. Liquid make the Yatoro faces void bleed with a short duration arrow. That four staff not in time. You cannot get and to bashes Anacol. and Abyssal Blade. So one support sneaks away. But losing a second lane of Barracks. Off the start, even if you chrono him. Do you have the damage to bring him down? You may have gotten two lanes of barracks, but if you want to hold on to your buybacks, you're probably going to be losing something as well. The arrow's going to come out. BKB, Batrider goes out. Song also being used. They're going to try and get Nigeo TP out, and he does get it. It was a close call, but it looks like Liquid are going to get away. This is just like last game. Collapse on illusion duty with a boot to travel as I tries to create some tower pressure. It'll be a Moonlight Shadow to lead the charge. Proximity Mine sends the warning here. Dust comes out. That is Toro very close to finishing this up. The arrow is going to come in. Mickey just jump straight into the middle of it. This Wukong's is command, not the but Wukong it's not inside want. the pit. It's not looking that great unless they can get the telekinesis. The, the bash and the pistol plane is so it's close. Your Toro does die. Immediately buys back. They need to get into this pit now while they can. See if they can blow up the Monkey King. Drag him out of his Wukong's command. The Roshan's going to die in a second here. Back. But Nish is banging for the kill. He gets the kill here. for Toro. It's the Chronosphere. He takes everything inside of it. The stolen Chronosphere is going to be able to catch the backlight of Team Spirit. How However, but the buybacks are running a little thin for Team Liquid. They're trying to get away from Zai, but so much control. And CD with the Soul Blast off hits a good stun. And now Mickey's back into it. Beautiful about the strike with the Shredder pumping into Team Spirit. They couldn't handle that one, but they do have the extra life. Tor comes Reverse back into, into the sun. The statues are not enough. He a die back, another, chrono. another chrono Sphere, and Nisha's gonna die as well. They'll collect Zai on the end of it, and this is the end game for Team Spirit. This is the Yatoro Faceless Void. You let him have it a second time, and Yatoro will make you pay. But nothing can stop Yatoro. That's two right there. That is going to make this series a BO3, as Team Spirit say the first time didn't work out, but the second. Nobody defeats Yatoro Faceless Void first phase twice in a row. With a I think Visage is really good. Maybe some Razor if they, if they feel very creative. You can also surge away from a Veno, so uh, this Visage, uh, you guys mentioned it a few times already, lanes very well with the Tiny. He still has the same problems like the Zoo and, and the summons getting on top of you. Snowball top, his Collapse dead here. It's looking like it. Yeah, they're gonna run him down with well, the extra shells, bit the of burst. Blocks. I mean, really good body blocking, and Zany will eventually get that kill as Mickey was a bit scared to go for it. He's gonna push Laurel down, and Laurel had a very good game too on that Batrider. This is another hero we've seen him dominate the tournament with. Six minute power room box. He's played out of vision, but he's gonna pounce now with a two man stun. avalanche. Two man split earth, a toss together. The snowball pickup can't grab the Wind Ranger while he's up in the air. Well, you can, he just couldn't do it there. And uh, that leads to a double kill for Liquid. Boxy making another rotation. See if he can catch Laurel on this avalanche. Not quite. While well, Zai is going to be gone on in the bottom lane. So left alone and Boxy failing to get the kill on mid. And they feel very comfortable. A haste rune and a smoke. A lot of opportunities here for Nisha to be able to pounce. They already have the rupture on a collapse. Laurel is going to go for the kill on a Mickey at the same time. See if they trade out course here. Mickey healed up enough. And Nisha's going to run down all of these heroes. Ice Blast coming in, but it's not going to land on the cores. The much needed kills that are just not going to land. We look at Mickey. He's charging forward with a healing salve on him. Still got to be careful of Laurel, though, in this skinny little bridge. He will maybe get the kill. No, the split earth. Oh, he out. does have enough for a power shot, but I think he just has to focus on getting out. Maposhka's positioning, though, is going to be a bit problem for Liquid. This Ice Vortex slowing him down. Laurel getting more damage on the way out. Real okay shot. just to make sure that Nisha's going to be okay here and a quick refill on the mana. Yeah, it's about the Darkseer AA combination. Yeah, with a Tusk going in. Clearing through the stacks. Team Spirit trying to take advantage of this. The Shackle Shot doesn't land, nor does the Ice Blast. And Insania? Well, he's going to be chased out by the Focus Fire. He will die for this one, but you know Team Liquid wants to respond to this one. Zai's coming in. Can he get the Bird Drop? He does. Nicely played. It's going to be first Laurel, now Yatoro. Yeah, Yatoro in no man's land. Yeah, he's ruptured up. There's no way out of this one. He joins in on a bad fight for Team Spirit as it just comes down to that shackle shot. Team Spirit outside of this Darkseer pushing waves in to gain info. They're going to run the Zai. Connection. Shackle missed. But the block out here at the shard's going to do a lot. 
Resummons on the familiars just to try and hit these stuns and insane. He gets a really big heal with the mech and he's staying up on the high ground with Helix out going in. They have to throw so much damage to finish off Psy, but they finally do kill him. Nisha is running low on mana. They have the rupture on out. Still a lot of damage. Laurel, yeah, yeah, he's going to be chased down immediately at Maelstrom proc. Nisha is still working with enough here to be able to get one more kill, even a refill on his own bottle thanks to the shovel. And two supports that can do a lot. Yatoro with item. his BKB, he needs to be able to find a kill on the start of this fight, and he will have it. Visage is going to die before the relocate goes out from Insania. The rupture, though, is going to do it. serious damage to Yatoro, and he's going to play without potentially the Zyle. Beautiful shackle shot onto the Visage familiar, plays against him, but he does have that Bloodstone, and a relocate away from the Ice Blast, but Mike does die as he commits on in. Yatoro's heal back up as back they're going to try and play this we're out with the Leshrac, but Team Spirit have completely outfought them. They saved the Leshrac for last, and they'll finish him off on his second life with Liquid. Getting nothing out of that. Absolutely nothing. Especially with the Vortex down, which is so damn hard to run. Yutaro trying this one solo, but he knows the relocation is going to be there. Boxy's trying to get a toss away, but the BKB is actually oh going to hurt Mickey God. here. And Yutaro is one just manning five. up. He's <laughs> going for a crazy 1v5, but ultimately, he did get what he wanted out of that, which was Mickey's life. I, I catch the Bloodseeker on the intercept. Is it fast enough? Do you have an Observer Ward? You do, Maposhka. <laughs> Does oh. not see him as he gets in the trees. They see Boxy. That's a great target as well. Boxy. Yep, yeah, they're going to jump him immediately. Try and burst him without using any sort of Berserker's Rage. Just keep him from a distance, and they got him. That is a very nice pickoff. He does have buyback here. Liquid can commit. It's Radiant inside. It's going to take him a while to get back here. And his Team Spear going to poke in, and that Lotus and Lincolns are being thrown on Yatoro, so you have to think about these ruptures. The pipe now being on cooldown means Team Spirit. Yutoro feels confident he's going to push forward. It's got a window where the Tiny is not here. He's going to try and go through the gates. Oh, this is dangerous. He's going to come back into instant damage. He may not be able to blink away. Boxy, if you do this, it could be a tieback. He keeps on baiting it. Is he ever going to go through? Oh my no, god, he's no just going to keep him sitting there. Yutoro's going to go through. Wait, going to go through. And Boxy doesn't realize it because the animation Whoa. is on his own side. Oh no, he's got the Ogre Seal totem though. He may have a chance to be able to get away. Yutoro chases after him. And Team Spirit. And now, now maybe they're the other side of the map. Caught. Zai looped he's around. Control. He's going for lore. Where's Yutoro? Yutoro, save us, please. Oh no, Come Team back. Spirit. They're already Brother. ready to run down. That's going to be two heroes dead. One of them with no buyback. That's dangerous. Ice Blast. It doesn't really clip. They immediately dodge away over the side. Now a toss back up on Yutoro. Toro tried to go for the chain stuff, but no. Nihilism. nihilism, though. The BKB, it gets kited out, and he knows it, too. He immediately just has to TP away and collapse. Oh, no. Yatoro in his bold move of going through the portal to try and catch Boxy will end in betrayal for the rest of Team Spirit. And for a dieback on Tiny, you get it right away. I mean, if Team Spirit played that sequence perfectly, right? It's an okay play to me. They just yeah. need to back off with everybody else. Let's see, Kerr. Use the axes to blind the birds, buy you some time. Laurel's got to find a big target. Big shackles, help your team fight out. You can poke the Lesh like this. You have a nullifier now. Ice Blast is going to be used here. Can they put enough damage to take away that Aegis? They're going to try. Oh, what a beautiful combo. vacuum from Collapse. Now they do have the pipe. They're going to pop the Berserker's Rage and just try and lead into these heroes. BKB, can he get away? Where's the net? Oh, what beautiful shards. And Tini comes in, hits the cheese. That's going to help him out. Then they turn back onto Yatoro, who gets a four staff away. He's OK for now. Beautiful disengage. Great stuff from Team Spirit. High ground ward. They're going to see you, Toro. They're going to get the rupture toss back. That's going to be a ton of damage into the split earth. But he got off the ultimate. He got off the BKB. He got off the Satanic. He's back up the goal. And Mickey is stuck. A beautiful vacuum ice blast. Now they do still have that combo. Nisha is a problem a little bit here. They got to be able to focus down with Laurel. Ball and Toro resets. Nisha gets to relocate out. Perfect timing from Insania. But now without that, it's just an opportunity to run down more. Looks like Zai's going to be the first one. They're going to catch Boxy as well. Four staff over the shards, but he's not going to make it very far. A snowball will hunt him down. That reload went deeper on the map, by the way, but they just couldn't re-engage. It's not an easy task here as they're going to run Nisha with a shield rune in. He is extremely tanky right now. But if they could get the nullifier on him, it would be massive. Boxy tries to jump in. Only hits an avalanche. The toss over is into Mira instead. They now try and disengage. Immediately a relocate backwards, but Yutoro didn't really use too much for it. He's Mira, 
Snowball over the side. They do manage to get the nullifier on Lesher. They're focusing him. The relocate is not going to come back in time. Now the vacuum into the wall catches the two supports. They do manage to get the relocate out. Oh, Liquid. the Bloodseeker is pushed into this one with the nullifier on him. Buybacks raining in from Team Liquid. But once again, Team Spirit just looks so much better in these team fights, man. Nisha is playing for it with the Nihilism. They have to win the second part that of this team fight with a beautiful avalanche toss. Whoa. Is he actually going to do this one? Yutoro dies. No way. Now a I'm buyback a opportunity for Team Spirit with a shackle shot launching the down. Nisha's got to go. Boxy's got to leave. They've got to get out of here because they can win one part of this fight, but the other the part... Track on his own and he's a pig. No help in sight. It's just Boxy with one more combo. He got canceled by Collapse. He's got to annihilate him. If he can wait out the nullifier, maybe he can turn. He's going to chase down Laurel. Now the nullifier him. goes out. He's going to go for the TP way off of this one. Collapses and have a vacuum. They don't have anything to stop him. No way Nisha gets out. I thought he was dead for sure. He got double shackled and a shard off that buyback. Cannot stand there long as Yatoro feels the pain. The reloads from Insania have also been on point this game. Yatoro, you know this man is going to push it right now. Ages for three minutes, Satanic Ags and level 25 talent. How do you bring him down? It has to be a tiny toss in deep. But how do they do the tiny toss? Oh, instant sight! They were ready for that one. And not, not today, Boxy. Pull the them back. back in with the Ice Blast Vacuum. Nisha. The team fight Maestros do it again. A dieback on Nisha. Should be the end of the game now as Team Spirit. Five, six, seven lives on them. Two remaining on the side of Liquid. There's no chance. No hope at all. Team Spirit will just run over them. Liquid trying to play for a fountain at this point in time, but they know it's over. Damn. GG is called. Now Team Spirit one game away from claiming yet another finals. This is where the pressure is really on if you are Liquid. Beauty of this game, that's why it is so romantic. It's because it is everything that happens before you get to this one chance to be the best in the, the world begins. that makes it so unique. And Liquid, you are back on the precipice as once more you might be denied that first place. You have no more wiggle room, but you do have a first blood on the Drow Ranger. I wasn't a huge fan of the Shadow Demon because I think there were options that helped them solve some of the problems they had in this game, but it is a hero they're very comfortable with and one that can help out the carry matchup later. But they can they're get the man kill up. on Amike here, but it's looking good. Yeah, the axes and the Shadow Points just builds up a bit too much. Insania, oh, the Rocket Flare comes in to be able to finish off Mira, which may actually save Insania's life as he is going to be chased I'm down. Collapse underneath the tower. He gets oh, the yeah, kill I'm first, fine. so they don't get any experience for the Beastmaster kill. Another scatter blast dodge there. As Nisha, he's been putting a lot of pressure on Laurel. He's trying to kick him out of lane so he can actually take that tower with the Orb of Corrosion as quick as possible. And he's going at it again. There's a boar here. That was a pretty nice boar rotation. Yeah, it actually helps out quite a bit. Nisha, he does have that defensive remnant, so not too much to worry about and here. And they cut the supports off in the river. Oh, the Sunder turnaround side. He's trying to crawl back to the, the defense of the trees, but it will not happen. Meanwhile, Insania is going to be caught on the power rune as well. Nisha is exerting so much pressure in this matchup, just running him down with flame guard. Here's that Mickey rotation through the gate, right on time to catch out Yutoro at this point in time. You have to be aware that that kill from behind is always going to be there. Every single one of these games, Mickey is trying this. You push these buildings pretty fast between these two heroes. You're also pressuring mid right now. Kisses cookie. off a cookie tormentor with the Hadouken. Oh, he gets the silence on him. Maposhka has to finish him off now and will be able to do so. Insania shows up, but can't really do much. Meanwhile, back over on that river spot. Boxy tried to hit him with the hook shot. With the help of Zai, they will be able to punish Laurel for this play on to Mickey. Team Spirit's still feeling really good about this thing. Not many teams have ever accomplished this task in these types of situations. See if they can blow up the Shattered Demon real quick, pull him. Oh, not quite enough. The disruptions. Uh, he's he's going to come back and he's going to die, but it is time. Laurel, uh oh, the Chain Frost fortunately doesn't bound back to him again. The kiss is going to be used here. Boxy goes for a desperate TP out. That's not going to work. The Amber Spirit jumps away to the Remnant. Got the last two hits. Insania. And I think uh, another thing that I really like about Yutoro, probably one of the best players in the world when it comes to itemization on carries. Another oh, jump yeah. on him here, it just doesn't stop, man. This nightmare continues for him as Boxy has his number constantly. He might cost Boxy his life, or Insania rather, as Insania is the one targeted by the big bad army of the Beastmaster. And the Lizard will take him out, he'll get his revenge in the end, and they're worth about the same here as the summons all get cleared out. But this Boots of Travel plus all these Boars and Hawks. 
You can't afford back-to-back -back pickoffs like they this. The Rod of Atos into the cookie, into the Primal Roar, will ensure a second core kill for Team Spirit. Maybe Mira dies to the spiders. He's going to try work. and pop the... Po oh, that's a smart move. Uses the smoke. No hero to dispel that. It really scales against droughts out of some of these uber cheese picks. And even then... Oh, like broke through the Lincolns and got him with the purge. Can I get to the trees? No, he can't. Boxy, he's just throwing his life in there. Anything to protect Zai. But the frost shield, it's going to be enough. Boxy, you are going to pay the price. But you done good, son. I died the one poison stat. That's <laughs> kind of embarrassing. <laughs> It's a lot of time off the map for a hero that really needs as many items as I can get to get over that threshold to push you into the late game. Because you might be looking at that next Roshan going high. Oh, Roshan to Toro. the Aegis hero? That's going to be difficult. They want to see if they can take away this Aegis without having to overcommit, but an early Sunder from Yutoro pretty much kills that idea unless you get some amazing Chain Frost with Nisha joining in. They're going to do some decent damage, but he gets a four staff away. No lucky bounces on that Chain Frost. It's a big deal for this Ember. That is not an idle rune. Yutoro's like, yeah, you saw what happened last time with that Sunder. You better run, Boxy. You better get out of here. Yep, that's going to be another Sunder to bring down Boxy again. Yutoro oh, continuing to feast on the souls in this game. He's going to jump away. Fortunately, there was no nobody on his spirit. Yutoro's going to spot him now. It's kind of better. Yeah, he thinks with the Scotty he can catch him here. Nisha pops the BKB just in case, and he's going to get another oh, spirit on that. out. They're really chasing him, but I think Nisha, maybe he's going to be away. The kiss it. No, the roar got there just in range from Collapse. Team Spirit, what is that? Nine. Some decent lane cleanup while Toro is making the space. Almost level 20 and almost a Daedalus on this Snapfire. It's just going to be a raw damage build. Hookshot like just hook required to be able to save Nisha, perhaps. They are going to go for the kill, but the BKB from Laurel should protect him here as Boxy will not have that same level of protection. The Chain Frost bounces around a little bit more. Damage done, but not damage. That is going to result in a kill. Zaya's Butterfly. He's very Another strong Another BKB, right now. in fact, but they're just going to try and kite around this Butterfly Broodmother. Now he's right in. in. Here comes Yutoro straight to Mickey. Oh, that Force Staff isn't going to get you far enough away as Yutoro positions himself beautifully amongst three different cores. Kills one, chases the other two away. In fact, if it wasn't for that Lincoln, they would have caught Zai too. I think Spirit are happy to take this fight if they can bait Liquid into the pit. And Liquid is going to take that bait. They're going to try and take this Roshan. And Laurel get back here. He's really far. Bots in seven Dying seconds. Dying fast, but Yutoro's going to get into position. They got the Collapse Rival Roar immediately onto the Drow Ranger, and she's dead already. Another Chain Frost going around, trying to go for Yutoro. Yutoro. They all are focusing on this Terror Blade, but Terror Blade, he's standing up one versus three. They finally finish him off, but the damage has been done. Nisha on a sliver of HP is trying to get away, but the Kisses will finally find him. Zai. It's going to have to be through him, and it's going to have to be through the buybacks. His Drill Ranger did manage to get a buyback off of some gold there. Take as many lives out with it as you can, because Laurel, he has level 20. He's here to play. Here goes I. He just dies right in. He wants this fight. He wants to be able to kill as many heroes of Team Spirit and take this Roshan. An opportunity for a turnaround for Team Liquid. The Shatter goes out. Laurel, oh, he's going to hit by the hook shot too. And Team Spirit, their greed in trying to contest this without Yutoro, without their carry. Laurel could not get back to that fight in time. What turns out to be a bait in terms of forcing Liquid into the pit. Team Spirit rushing a little bit. Edge Sword, the attack speed is there. This is where Yatoro wants to start taking some names. He's going to just run into Zai. He's own initiation once again. Yatoro will start it off and try and bring down the spider. Oh, desperate TP. That's not going to work. The damage, way too much. So he's dead for 85 seconds. You know with a meta pop. It's aggressive. There's a gem on Boxy right now that they stole from Aposhka. Oh, look at Mickey, 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 Mickey. Mickey is in so deep. Mickey is surrounded by so many heroes. Mickey shows himself. Uh oh, he doesn't play. have a silver and edge. And this is going to be bad for him. They try and get the four staff away. The cogs thrown out. The kisses are going to catch him. Now Boxy's on the run as well. Oh no. Mickey tried to make a move without the, the entirety of Team Liquid and runs into the whole squad. They smell the blood in the water right now, and they are just pushing down a lane. This drought, like you said, 90 seconds no buy. Team Spirit are forcing the issue. Insane, you are absolutely gone off the crits. They knew the Frost Shield is an important part of being able to stall out this game long enough for these heroes to come back. So taking away the Lich. They're just going to go Megas here, but you know Yatoro is going to go thrown. 
There is no way this man backs off after this. He wants buybacks. He wants a game. They do manage to get Mira immediately buybacks from both supports here. Zai trying to use the last bit of his insatiable hunger now to close the distance with Yutoro, but immediately has to just pop the Manta at the first sign of aggression and bounce One himself bad away. Move. Costs you your entire base. And now without the Frost Armor, the Lich. He can't hold these tier fours any longer. Yatoro is gunning for it. He's got the tier fours falling fast to get the jump Cyborg. onto Zai. Primal Roar, and he's done for. He's dead. No buyback. Team Spirit have done it. They get their chance at a second time at the Riot Masters, and this time they will claim the championship. In a year where everybody doubted this roster, in a year where they struggled an event after event, incredible performance. Team Spirit doing so much at this tournament, showing up at the right time of the year, the right tournament. Team Liquid, once again, fall just a little Three. short. Team Spirit!